Once the area is well cultivated, start to lay out and preparing the planting bed. It is ready to lay out the area after the soil is well cultivated. You will need materials like pegs from bamboo or tree branches, measuring tape and the strings to make the guide. Start from one side of the area to measure the bed and furrow. The furrow serves as the walking pathway when trending the crops and doing activities like trellising, pruning, fertilization, and even irrigation. Measure a 1 meter bed and 0.5 meter furrow in between beds. Use sticks and strings to guide you in raising the beds. For crops that need crawling space, like watermelon and pumpkin, add 2 to 3 meters in between the paired beds. After each pair of beds, add 0.5 meter furrow. Consider the sun direction or the land slope for the layout of the beds. If the area is plain and the crops selected grow higher than 1 meter, like tomatoes or cucumber in vertical trellis, make the bed parallel to the direction of the sun from east to west. This ensures even distribution of light and avoids one bed from shading the next bed, especially during the start and end of the day. When the area is sloping, lay out the beds across the slope. This will avoid soil erosion during rainy season. When furrow irrigation is practiced, even flow of water is distributed to each crop. Unlike when the beds are parallel to the slope, where the water flows first to the slowest part and may cause flooding and the upper part doesn't receive enough water. Using a hoe or a shovel, take the soil from the furrow and transfer in the bed to rise in a desired height of 20 centimeters. During the rainy season, it is recommended to raise the bed from 30 to 50 centimeters high. Depending on the type of soil, clay soil requires higher raised beds because water percolates slower than in loamy or sandy soil. After raising the bed, establish a good drainage around the area to avoid water logging during rainy season. Ensure good planning on the time to finish the raised beds and when the seedlings are ready to avoid delays that may lead to overmatured seedlings to transplant.